what had happened was, have I told you lately that I love you? <laughs> have I told you there's no one else above you? <laughs> when I bring up the smooth truths, you must know I'm feeling like I'm in trouble. So this is what happened, right? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. What happened was, so, right, 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 let's talk about this vlog, y'all, let's talk about this vlog, okay, I tried to vlog, y'all, I did, and in fact, you know, firstly, wait, 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 let me tell you the good news, let me tell you the good news before y'all get upset with me, I found a place, yes, I found a place. I woke up in the morning, I found a place, no one gonna tell me no, na 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 cause now I know where I belong. <laughs> yes, I found a place and when I went to go look at this place, it was amazing, I walked in, I said yes, I am home, I am home sweet home. <laughs> and then after I went to look at the place, I'll tell you about the place at the end of this video because I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. So let me see. Let's see how this goes. Right. So after I went to see the place, I went to this place in Melville called uh, 27 Boxes. out of 27 40 foot shipping containers and they've put these containers together and it's an awesome space to just go hang out good food um, great shops actually especially clothing shops like great designers shops sort of like you know what do you call them ones off shops you know not like department stores so I went for that and I had I I had a cronut, y'all. I have been wanting to have a cronut for probably this whole year. I think that I think they opened the shop like beginning of this year, if not the end of last year. And I've been wanting to have one, and I've been like, no, Gabby, no, no, Gabby, no. Please, the filling in there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at look 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 at look at that. Okay, wait, hold on. Life. It was worth the wait. I love it. But I saw this place, I loved it. The owner and I, um, we're actually still talking, like, get the paper signed and everything like that. So I'm in the process. It's not yet, like, signed, still delivered, you know, but it's almost there. Anyway, so after I went to see the place, I decided, you know what, I need to celebrate. So I went, I got myself a cronut, and it was fantastic, as you will see over here. Now that is a celebratory snack. See you guys later. I need to kill this thing. Delicious. Anyway, so cronut story over. Um, there's something in my eye. Sorry. After the cronut story, and like I came home, and that's basically all I actually recorded for the vlog. So. I figure, I was going to do this video anyway, but I figure I might as well add it on here because I'm really not good at these like sit down prep and like, I figured it out, like I can't do like beauty vlogger, I can't be a beauty vlogger, like it's too hectic, it's too, the pressure y'all, the pressure, I don't know how these like beauty, blog, beauty vloggers do it, I don't know, like the lighting has to be right, the, 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 the camera angles have to be right, like everything has to be like so pre-planned and like ahead of time, like, goof, goof, goof. I don't know, like the control freak in me is just like, I, I can't handle, I can't handle, like there's too many things to be like watching over. Anyway, so I'm going to do like lip swatches and um, yeah, I went to a sale, I got 
some lipsticks and I'm figuring you guys are about to go out buy like some Christmas stuff and probably you're looking at lipsticks and I'm like hey hang on I've got like a variety of different sort of from the same brand mostly but like different uh, formulas different formulas so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do lip swatches and we shall I did try these lipsticks um, a week ago just like I put them all on just to sort of like see my feel and whatever um, these all of these lipsticks all of these lipsticks oh. are super comfortable on the lip none of them are drying and all of them feel like once you've taken them off they all feel like you've still got like conditioner or a lip balm on your lip so I would definitely recommend them all of them like jealous down people these lipsticks feel nice on your lips all of them Colorish, Colorish Matte 227 High Lipstick. Now I've got two of these from the same brand and I found this one to be patchy when you put it on. It didn't really cover my dark line on my upper lip. I had to do so many passes just to get it on but it is buildable and there's also no need for a lip liner with this one even though it is so bright. I don't have like dark 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 lips but I definitely have like a proper um, natural line around my lips so to hide that I had to put on like it does not have a very strong smell it is matte on the lip it will definitely transfer as you can see it looks matte but it doesn't dry down matte anyway this is the dark one Maybe this is the mahogany studs this partner in crime is a lot more even Really nice, matte, looks matte, very hydrating, very soft, very gentle. It's more of like a velvet finish rather than a satin finish or a, or a matte, liquid matte finish. It's a velvet finish. And I did find that um, I needed some extra passes. So for the dark lips, it works very for the dark for the dark lipstick. It works very well for the lighter one. You do need to do a couple of passes. The next one that I'm going to try out is the Maybelline Superstay 14 hour lipstick in the color Always Plum 260 and this is what it looks like. I I actually thought that this was going to be like a doe foot applicator, like a liquid lipstick, but it's actually a, a lipstick lipstick. I loved this one and I've worn this one actually, um, I wore it on Saturday. It is super long lasting. The application is easy. It goes on evenly. It is highly pigmented and you can build it up. And there is no need for a lip liner with this one. It's just so easy to use. I, I don't know, like, it's a love. It's a love. It's a love. The next, lip, the next lipstick is this Maybelline Vivid Hot Liqueur, 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 and it is in the color 64 Unreal. Let us talk about lip glosses. This is the lip gloss, y'all. If you want lip gloss, that is a lipstick, that is a gloss, that is a lipstick. This is the one. It is super opaque, which means when you put it on, it showed up and showed off. It smells amazing. It smells like dessert. The applicator, this applicator was the best applicator I used out of all of them. It's not that long lasting. This is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in the color Coral Orange. This was the one that I didn't like the most out of all of them. I found it to be very uneven. It's got a beautiful high finish gloss, but it is very uneven when you put it on. It can get quite gloppy, so it's not easily buildable. This was the hardest applicator to use. You were more likely to make mistakes and those kinds of things. Like you need to either line your lips or actually fill them all in and then put this on. But once you put it on, it was beautiful. What do you guys think? I do like a bright lipstick. And we come to the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, this one, and I've got it in the color 35 
creator. This is the closest to a matte liquid lipstick out of all of these lipsticks. Um, it is very comfortable. It is not drying like normal liquid lipsticks. It is actually, I will actually even say, it is more comfortable than the Body Shop um, liquid lips that I love so much. It is a little bit tacky or sticky. You know when you press your lips together, you can actually feel it, but it doesn't pick up. It's not uncomfortable. I also like the applicator for this one. And the color is even and it is bright color and it is true to form. It is as bright as the outside it's packaging looks. It's a long lasting one. It's not going anywhere. This um, L'Oreal Lip Paint Matte. And it is this one. No. This one... This one is a hit and a miss because it actually smells like drink or pop or cool aid. I don't know if you guys have ever had that, but it smells like, you know, ice pop. It smells amazing. So it reminds me of my childhood, but it also reminds me of childhood makeup. Do you remember those lip glosses when you were a kid in the toy section? This reminds me a little bit of that. So for that reason, I kind of like it and I also don't like it. Lip stain. This is not a lipstick. This is a lip stain. Now, every time you put on a layer, the stain on your lip gets bolder and rich and richer and just a lot more amazing but it is also going to move around on you so you definitely need a lip liner to keep it in place and in check but the staining power of this is really really amazing this is the color show maybelline new york color show lipsticks in big apple red number 211 or cosmopolitan red i don't know there's two numbers on here i don't know there's two names i don't know which one's which but anyway and then like lastly we end on a high gapsters i think for me anyway at least for me it is the perfect red this is a cool toned red there's no need for a liner but if you want to put one on go ahead it can be an everyday lipstick it can be a special occasion lipstick it's just amazing. I loved, I love this lipstick. I don't know what happened. By the way, Gapsters, can we just talk about the fact that I could have been living in the Franklin, but you guys didn't subscribe, and now I'm not living in the Franklin? I would just like you to think about that. Think about how you are impacting my life by not subscribing please subscribe below so i can move to the front <laughs> gusters thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe Bye.